pound currently at a holding position at the moment, but I've already started to pull through some analyst uh, research notes that have immediately reacted to this, and they've drawn upon two things that both of you might be interested in. First of all, they've said, well, obviously, uh, this is a shocker for the markets. It is a situation that could have been one of the worst for the markets on the one hand because uh, they don't like the idea of the Conservative Party, which is very pro-business, losing its overall majority, but also it raises the spectre of uncertainty, which of course is the nightmare scenario for uh, markets, especially when it comes to negotiating a Brexit from here. I should point out that the other thing that has been highlighted in a lot of these analyst notes is the fact that the Scottish National Party is predicted to have incurred some significant lost losses here, losing, uh, as you've been pointing out throughout the course of the evening, the 20 seats. And that, of course, may also show that perhaps uh, appetite for Scottish independence is waning. It could also make the maths very difficult for other people to make up the numbers to form another a government uh, as well. So the big question here is, where does the British pound go from here? A lot of uh, people are predicting that it may well fall further, perhaps not immediately uh, throughout the course of the night, but as we try to get an idea of whether or not they're going to be able to form a government from here and how crucially this will affect the Brexit negotiations. Remember that the pound has fallen 14% since the UK voted on June the 23rd of last year to leave the EU. Uh, that, of course, is making life more expensive for Britons. Um, and that's going to be something that whichever yeah. government comes in is going to have to deal with. So a lot of people also factoring potentially less austerity for the next government, perhaps an emergency early budget that could put more stimulus on the line.